All right, let's work one of these in-between problems. It says uh, this. Lamar's football team got a power rating of 265. Magnesia's football team rating was 246. What percent of schools had football teams with a rating between Lamar and McNeese. And then they tell me several things. Number one, the mean is 230. That's why I have it marked here. Mean is 230. The standard deviation is 17. I don't even need to mark that. I don't need to mark the standard deviations, but I will use it down here in my Z formula. So what I'm trying to find is how many teams fall in between Lamar and McNeese. In other words, this area right here. How many teams are in there? There's 211 teams in all. How many are in here? All right, here's how I'm gonna work this problem and every problem that is an in-between problem. I want you to watch this. If I considered, if I got my Z-score for McNeese and did everything above it, and if I got my Z-score for Lamar and did everything above it, I would be describing, number one, this part of the graph, and number two, this part of the graph. Well, all I have to do is subtract this part of the graph, that is Lamar's above, whatever is above Lamar. I have to subtract this from this, whatever is above McNeese. So if I can find this area, and I can using my Z scale, and if I can find this for Lamar, if I subtract this from this, it leaves that. Every one of these in-between problems is gonna be a subtraction. Subtract this area from the whole area that leaves this much left, an in-between area. So basically what I'm gonna do is find my Z value for McNeese, and my Z value for Lamar. First of all, Z value for McNeese. I know the Z value is the raw score minus the mean. So the raw score for McNeese is 246 minus the mean, 230. Here's where the standard deviation comes in, all over the standard deviation, which happens to be 17. So that's 16 over 17. I'm gonna do that on my calculator here. 16 divided 17, and I get 0.9411 basically 0.94. So my Z number for McNeese is 0.94. Okay, what I'm gonna do with 0.94, that's my Z number, I wanna find how much is above a value with a 0.94 Z number. So here's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna look in my chart and it's the stuff above when when z is 0.94 so here we go let's find z is point this is positive 0.94 all right here it is 0.94 i want the amount above and that's 0 0.1736 got that find my Z number. I want the part above it, that is to the right, that's 0.1736. So the point 
All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with Lamar to find its Z number, except of course my raw score is gonna be different, 265. Again, minus the mean, 230. All over the standard deviation of 17. So let's see, that's 35 over 17. And my calculator, divide 17, tells me 2.0, let's go 2.06. So my Z number has to be two decimal places to the right. So I rounded five, eight, eight up to six. So let me look up 2.06. Z values 2.06. Here we go, it's on page 238, 2.06. And again, I want the stuff above, so that's 0 0.0197. 0 0.0197. So the amount above for this Z number is 0 0.0197. All right, before we go any further, let's do this. Uh, there's 200 teams rated in all. So if I want to find how many teams are above McNeese in a power rating, above McNeese, I'm going to multiply 0.1736 times the number of teams that were rated. 11. And then I'm going to subtract the number of teams that are above Lamar, which is 0 0.0197 times 211, the number of teams that were rated. So this is the percentage that's above it. This will give me the actual number of teams that are above McNeese and above Lamar. So let's do these separately. 0 0.1736 times 211. Equals 36.6. I'm going to go 36.63. I'm not going to round anything until I get to a final answer. And then 0 0.0197 times 211. 211. It gives me 4.16. So I'm going to subtract this from that. Oops. Sorry. Try that again. 36.63 minus 4.16. 32.47. Again, I don't know how he wants to do this. Uh, a part of a team that's not a whole team, so approximately 32 teams this is approximately 32 teams are in between McNeese and Lamar 
So here's what we're going to do. Each of these in-between type problems. In-between problems. You're going to have two uh, scores and you're going to find Z values for each of those two scores. We're going to use our uh, Z formula and we're going to use our chart to find out what part of the graph is above this one and what part of the graph is above this one. We're going to subtract the smaller value from the larger value and it's going to leave the intermediate value, the in-between value. So find your Z value, use your chart to find what part of the graph is above, subtract the smaller one, I'm sorry, multiply each of them times the total number that you have, in this case it's 211, that'll give you two numbers, subtract the smaller from the larger, and that'll tell you how many teams are in between these two scores. So 32 teams scored had a power rating in between McNeese and Lamar. That's basically what you do in there. All right.